Hi everyone, John Barton here from Tortoise IT. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use Divi Display Logic. Divi Display Logic has been around for a couple of years now, but until now, only supported the Divi Classic Builder. This major update, version 2.3, and this version, uh, they, this video applies to versions 2.3 onwards, um, uh, supports the Divi Visual Builder uh, fully, and it works really, really well. And so I'd like to show you how to use that today. Now, on this site here that we're looking at, it's a test install. So you've got um, just Divi Active, the latest version of Divi, um, as at January 2020, um, and Divi Display Logic only active. The homepage here that I've set up, hopefully you can see, um, is the Divi pre made layout uh, agency. I think it is. Uh, it's just the homepage. Now, as it stands, I've made no changes to this. Um, so this is pretty much what we get. Um, we're not going to really looking at it from a look and feel perspective, um, but it's really just to give you an idea of uh, of what it is you can do with Divi Display Logic. Now, um, but everything takes place in the Visual Builder now. Um, there's no classic builder support because, frankly, we all use this. Uh, anybody who wants to use a back-end builder, uh, it will work with that, just not the classic, classic, the really old one. Uh, so uh, moving forward. Uh, now, on this, we do have, um, well, let's have a look. So we have our admin bar at the top, which allows us to turn on the Visual Builder. Now, if you're not aware, Divi Display Logic allows you to uh, determine which sections, rows, modules, and anything else you'd like to show or hide <clears throat> based on uh, certain logic or certain conditions, such as whether you're logged in, whether you're logged out, certain time constraints, certain location constraints. There's quite a big list of built-in things. I call them short codes because that's kind of what it's based on, um, but you'll never have to write a short code, so don't worry about it. Uh, you can edit them, and uh, I've made it quite clear in the notes here how you do that, So, uh, but it is very user-friendly. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, first things first, let's create a use logged in, logged out. That's quite a nice, simple example. Um, let's create a, a banner for the top, one that shows people who are logged in, one that shows two people who are logged out. Could be different calls to action, different links, different images, anything. Uh, it's quite a good place to start, I think. So this here is a, a Divi full width section. It's purple, that's why it's full width, and the blue ones are a Divi section. You'll, that's quite important later on. It's color coded so that you know what you're doing. Uh, again, this is all Divi at this stage. Um, if we edit the press the cog on this uh, first section here, we'll be able to see our handy uh, editor interface that we're used to. And now we should see now that the uh, CSS class and ID has got display logic written in front of it. Now, that doesn't, isn't always there, but our controls for display logic are all in CSS class and ID. So when I open this up, you'll see the usual two that you're used to seeing, and then Divi Display Logic Helper and Shortcode. Shortcode you can safely ignore. Don't worry, it's just where the system stores its data. If you want to see if it has some logic, that's where you'll see it. But we're going to be using the helper, really. So we click our On button, and we get this handy little pop-up here. Now, quick introduction there, detailed notes at the top. And you click on that, and there's all sorts of stuff there, which you can read in your own time, frankly. Um, but it just details the shortcodes and what they do quite a lot of them. Uh, it's date selections here, uh, which is a, uh, it's a date picker. Uh, so I can click on this and you've got start and end dates. Now, one thing to be aware of with times and dates is that uh, the plugin uses your server time. So no matter, no matter where you are in the world, your server might be somewhere else. And so the time that the server thinks it is, is written here quite clearly. So it's currently the 12th of the 1st and it's 1352, which weirdly is accurate for me here in the UK. When you click into the show and start and end dates, you can click and you can set up your date and time here if you wanted to, and you press done, and it pre-fills these. Now, what that means is that when you select a preset from below, if there's any of these date and time functions, um, which are, here we go, date and time, um, show, show at a certain time, hide at a certain time, etc. Mondays, Wednesdays, it's just all examples. Show and hide content between certain times. You click into this, and the date that you've written up here will follow down, you see, look, 429, 429, and then the hide I haven't actually set. So it's 152, which is what it is now. So we can forget about that for now. Pressing the X in the corner just closes the window. Doesn't do anything, hides it. Doesn't save what you've uh, what you've written in the box. Uh, that only happens when you cl click the rather helpful tick here. So um, for the sake of argument, we'd like to show this section only to people who are logged, I don't know, logged out, okay? So our preset select, logged in out, nice and easy at the top, show the content only to logged out people. 
you've selected it and it's put a short code here. If you're familiar with WordPress, hopefully you're familiar with short codes. Don't worry if not, it's basically some words in a square bracket here, um, which uh, WordPress can translate as to do something or to show something. You can write your own. It's fully compatible with that if you want to get a bit further into it and all that information is in the documentation. But for now, you look at the short code, it says logged in, hide, fair enough. Nice and easy. And as we change this to other ones, here we go. Dates and times, roles, locations, and all I've put in this drop down here, so there's quite a few, um, are all just based on examples that I dreamt up. They are not the, the, the limited list that you have to use. For instance, um, hide the content of the users in the USA. Well, you might want, I don't know, Brazil, France, Germany, doesn't matter. You can change this two letter um, abbreviation here for the country code. Uh, and just look it up uh, on Google. There are a universal list of country uh, codes and uh, city names and things as well. It does do city. Um, it's based on the IP address though. So um, the, the, if I say Chester, which is a town in the UK, um, it, it might not be 100% accurate. You're always best to work with an county if you can, uh, or region uh, or, and country level, but it's all there for you to play with. It uses the MaxMind GeoIP library uh, which is freely available. So if you can get your hands on a newer version, uh, this is the latest they do at the moment. Um, and I'll keep it up to date for you within the plugin. Um, but so anyway, let's go back to our logged out example. Show content only to logged out. There we go. Short codes in. Press the tick. This little box here will pre-fill. Uh, so we're going to show to logged out. And we'll say, we'll, we'll edit the text here. Logged out. Uh, my bad spelling. There we go. Logged out. Now we can press save and we can save our layout now hopefully what we're going to see hopefully that's me the little faith it's going to save it we can exit the visual builder what's going to happen well i'm logged in so it's going to show it of course haha -ha. why is it going to show it well i'm an admin and admins have this handy option up here for admin mode on or off so it's going to show me the page because frankly as an administrator i want to see everything that's going on um but you get to this little box in the corner here that's purple that means full width as we said before it's color coded so the section if we do one below, it'll be blue, the module ones will be gray, etc. And I'll show you an example of that in a second. And we're saying here, logged in equals hide. If you have more than one piece of logic against a section row module, whatever, this will say something different and you can hover over it and it'll show you the full list of things. Um, if you don't like admin mode, or want to try it from a normal user perspective, hover over this admin bar at the top, admin mode off. The page will refresh and it's gone. So I'm logged in. The logic has said, hide that banner for people who are logged in or show for logged out, same thing, right? And it's gone. Now, one thing that's really important here, this is not using JavaScript to hide that content. Your content is completely secure. Everything is done on the server and that information is never sent to the user's computer. So clever people can't go, okay, well, I'll view the source of the page here and I'll see uh, if I can you know, get this super secret deal that's only supposed to show on a certain date and time or menus, etc." Um, it's physically not there. The first section that we see is this one here with the three columns in. Okay, so that's uh, very, very important. Um, some plugins that do this um, will hide using JavaScript uh, and it's, it's not secure at all, okay? So that's gonna, well, we need something now, don't we, for logged in. So let's uh, turn our admin mode back on. It is default on for administrators. Um, otherwise, everyone just sees it as uh, you, they just won't see the content. When we view the Visual Builder again, we should be now to now to duplicate our sections. Let's wait this to load. Lovely, excuse me. We can now make a version of this for logged in. So we're going to duplicate the full width section. There we go. I think my computer's a bit slow, doesn't do video very well. There we go. And we're going to click advanced again, display logic. Now it has copied because I've copied that full width section. It has copied it below as well with the logic in place. So when I press show helper, it's got logged in high and ho helpfully in some cases it will pre-fill this on the right hand side based on your short codes um it sometimes doesn't work depending on whether you've sent the dates and times it's a work in progress but it'll get better so this is to show logged in only notice the short code has changed and we're going to press the tick this has changed excellent we're going to press the tick down here and we can say oh hang on we'll uh, change this to logged in and we'll save okay Excellent. Now we can exit the Visual Builder once again, and we should see both full width sections showing. There we go. But this time, 
the logic is hide, the logic is show. Now as an administrator, once again, with admin mode on, we're going to see both. But if I then uh, log out, which will probably be here, go back to our homepage, we're going to say only the logged out one and then go straight into the next section. Works an absolute treat. Let's get logged in again. Okay. Back to our homepage. There we go. And we're seeing both. If I turn admin mode off now, we should now only see the logged in. There we go. Easy, right? Took no time at all. No coding required. It just works. Let's put our admin mode back on. I must admit, I really like this admin mode. <laughs> I wrote it, but I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. Now, let's do something else, shall we? So let's put our Visual Builder back on. There we go. And the section of three below the two banners here, the banner, rather. Let's make sure that these only show on certain days. Yeah. So that we've done it on the section so far. Let's do it on the um, on the row this time. So we'll duplicate it. Let's make one for weekends and one for days, days of the week, shall we? So we'll open up the row. This one CC says CSS ID in classes, still works the same. And then we'll say here, hide this content on weekdays. Now this is day hide, so hide on certain days, one, two, three, four, five, starting Monday, Monday being day one, so it's Monday through Friday. Okay, lovely. So that's hiding during the week. So this one here now, we can do hide at weekends. But there's not a preset for that at the moment. There might be by the time I release. Here we go. Hide on weekdays. And in this little short code down here, well, one, two, three, four, five is Monday through Friday. And they're separated by commas. So I can do comma, there you go, six and seven. And to differentiate them, let us, oh, there we go, six and seven. This is our weekend one. So let us do... I don't know, two columns instead. So now what we're expecting to see, is depending on the day of the week, this should change. Let's see what admin mode shows us on the front end now. Exit. Okay. And we scroll down. Now we're going to see here, two columns and three columns. Day hide. So this one is going to hide during the week, and this one is going to hide the weekends. Of course, if it's hiding during the week, it's going to show it at weekends. That's the logic there. Um, but uh, it's all in the documentation there. And uh, I'm always happy to answer questions about it. I'll try and make it clear as time goes by. Now let's turn um, admin mode off because it should hide one of these now. I keep saying should. Of course it will. There we go. Now, this is um, the three that we expected to see. Let's have a look. Let's turn admin mode back on. Okay. So it's hiding that one during the week, and it's hiding those ones there. Nice and easy. Okay, uh, what else can we do? Okay, so let us make a, a banner, a bar at the top, that is for logged in. Here we go. Just before I go, this will do uh, multiple pieces of logic. So we're going to add, let's add a section in place. And we'll just make our own briefly. There we go. And this could be a, a super special logged out um, bar that does certain things. So let's have a, let's edit it and see what we can do, shall we? So we're going to edit it. We're going to have a look at our display logic helper. And we'll say, firstly, we want it to show only to logged in people. And then we press the plus. We've got more logic. So now we can say, oh, OK, um, what are we going to do? This is interesting. Um, hide on weekdays. There we go. So let's see what happens now. You can add as much logic as you want to these things. There we go. Let's wait for it to load. Thank you very much. View the front end. Now, this one you'll notice that the admin mode is blue because it's a regular section rather than a full width section. When I hover over it, you should see both pieces of logic in the order that they will be processed, okay? So this is logged in, and it is hidden during the week. Let's have a look. So turn admin mode off. So the bar should disappear and should process the logic as you'd expect, okay? And there we go. So it's hidden during the week. It's now a Sunday for me, and so it's going to show. So this is basically saying to anybody who would like to 
see our super special deal of the weekend. But only if you're logged in, you need an account to see it, you're going to see that banner. So that could be a coupon code. It could be, I don't know, Black Friday banners. It could be anything. Um, it's really, really versatile, this plugin. Um, and, um, you know, I'd really love to uh, add some more logic for you. So let me know what you'd like to see. Do bear in mind, if you're a bit more advanced, you can add your own short codes. They are WordPress short codes. If that doesn't mean anything to you, skip this section. Um, otherwise, it is a, a, a short code which you pass it content. If you'd like it to hide it, it will return nothing. It's encapsulating short code. It returns nothing. If it doesn't hide it, it just returns the content straight back. Uh, more about that in the documentation. So anyway, happy January 2020, everybody. I really hope that uh, you're going to enjoy using Display Logic or continue to use it. It's been out for quite some time. Um, and in the Visual Builder, I'm certainly enjoying it. And uh, feedback, welcome. Thanks very much, guys.